Okay, so you guys seen the icon and you've seen the drastic difference between the um, dirty keyboard and the clean keyboard. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how I did that. So here we go. Okay, so first of all, let's just look at how dirty this thing is. It's just covered in dust basically and all the keys are yellow the yellowness can be easily fixed with um uh what's it called retro bright but the dust we're gonna have to clean so let's start doing that i guess okay so to dust it off i'm just going to quickly use some standard alcohol 91% because 70% wasn't really scratching it off that great and a napkin and some scrubbing Okay, so after all that scrubbing, this is the result. Next, let's turn this keyboard over and go ahead and open it up. There's... how many screws? There's eight screws, so let's go ahead and do that right now. After we got all those screws off, now let's go ahead and pry it open. Be careful because some stuff is going to fall out after you open it, so be very careful not to lose those. Okay, having a little trouble right here. Why aren't we able to open this? Ah, there we go. I missed the last screw. There we go. That came off pretty easy. Now, see that pad there? That's what we got to be careful about. Under that pad are the rubber cushions to get the connection between the um, keys, the keycaps, and the buttons. Now go ahead and take that rubber thing whatever off and pick up all those rubber connectors I guess and put them to the side. Let's give this keyboard one more wipe. Now let's turn the keyboard over and we gotta take these keycaps off. To remove the keycaps, there are two methods. One is the most common, which, which is a, a tweezer. You, If your tweezer is too small, you can stick your finger in it and try to widen it. Grip the two nod notches, I guess, or knobs on the uh, keycap squeeze it and pull it down push it down i mean however that can be a little hard especially when you have to take out a whole bunch of these so the second method is simply sticking a screwdriver or something into the middle here and pushing with all your force and it falls down it actually is pretty easy you just got to keep pushing it at a rapid rate so it doesn't uh get too hard okay now flip this thing over again and 
Oh my goodness, look at all the dust that's in there. That thing is so dirty. That's disgusting. It looks like there's a rat's nest or something in here. Anyways, we gotta clean this up. You can do this by simply rinsing it out or uh, wiping it out with a napkin if, if you're really gonna do that much work, but rinsing it out seems to do it pretty good. And this is the after result. As you can see, that is a ton cleaner. Here's the images up side by side. Oh, and by the way, while I was letting that keyboard dry, I went ahead and rubbed the cable with some alcohol in. Ugh, oh, look at how much dust came off that. Anyways, now it's time to put all those keycaps back on. Uh, I actually forgot to say, but before pulling all these keycaps out, you should take a picture of the keyboard so you know the layout. That's what I did, at least. Uh, referring to the image you you took, <clears throat> referring to the image you took earlier, go ahead and put all the keycaps back on. And there you go, all the, they're all back on. Now we got to flip this over and put all those rubber pads back on. The rubber pads are what makes the keycaps touch the uh, bore, the motherboard I guess, to send the key presses. So you need those rubber pads. Make sure you didn't lose any of them and make sure every key has one. Also make sure they're put on straight and not like misaligned, otherwise they might not give, they might not make full contact with the uh, board. you should now have a clean keyboard. Here's a before and after from the very beginning when it was all, all nice and, and, and yucky, I guess. And here is the after where it's all nice and clean. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this restoration video of this, this keyboard. If it was helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this content, give it a thumbs down. I'll see you guys next video. Bye. <laughs>